Hey, welcome back to my shop. I know it's been a while. Uh, we've been through the COVID bit and all that, so I hope you all are well. Uh, sorry it's been so long since we did a video, but the, I figured tonight with Easter coming up, we're going to do some more eggs. This time we're going to color them. We're going to do a bowl, and this may be a two-part series. And the tools that we'll be using is always the parting tool. We're going to use the skew a little bit. We got a detail spindle gouge that we're going to use, and then a roughing gouge, and then anything else that we pick up along the way. Okay, uh, we're here at the lathe. The first thing I'm going to do is use a roughing gouge. We're going to get this uh, piece of wood. This is a piece of pine, and it'll really make good uh, Easter eggs. It'll die really good because it'll be striped. Uh, we're going to cut a tenon on one end with a number two taper and we're going to stick it into our headstock. So let's get this around and do that first. Always step aside, make sure your speed is on zero. We're up right at a thousand RPMs. You can see I'm moving my whole body, not just my arm. I got three points of contact. My left elbow is in at my side. My right hand is at my side. And my palm is riding on the tool rest. That gives me three points of contact. And we just lay the tool right on top. To see if it's round. It's just a little bit out of round, so we'll just make one more pass. Just lay it off. Slide our tool rest in. Now, from right here, we're going to make a taper on the end here. And what I mean by a taper is this right here. This is a number two taper. So we're going to put that on the wood down here. Okay, I've got this, I've got the taper on the end of it, and I've got it stuck in my headstock. That's going to drive it. And now we're going to take on this end, and we're going to cut us some, start shaping our eggs. I've got a spindle a detail gouge. What I can do is I can take this skew, I'm going to speed the lathe up a little bit, and I'm just going to smooth everything out. I will take some 150 grit sandpaper, and I will sand this. And I'll take on the outside parts, and I'll put some uh, 240 on it. I don't want to sand the middle because it's going faster, uh, and I don't. I want it to be about the same density as uh, as far as the coarseness of the sandpaper, so it'll take the stain. So let's see if we can get this one off of here. Okay. Uh, we turn that egg, and what you would do is just go and turn two or three more eggs, ever how long many that you can get out of this stick. And but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you how to. I'm dyeing them, and I've got some uh, uh, Ritz dye, and all I do is just pour it on there, just like that. I roll him around in there, make sure it gets all over it. Drop him off in the, on the paper towel. 
kind of wipe him off a little bit and just let him dry just like that we'll see you on the next video and we're going to make a nest for these eggs